consider the next three problems. Problem numbers 14, 15, 16 of exercise number 7.1. Problem number 14. Integrate integral 1 minus x into root x dx. If you observe this problem, it is very easy to understand that it is 1 into root x minus x into root x. Just multiply and then separate. So before that, let me just call this as i. Let i be equal to integral 1 minus x root x dx. So i equals, now what I will do is 1 into root x is root x minus x into root x is x root x dx. Now, root x means x has got power half. So this is x to the power of half minus x root x. See x root x is like this. x has got power 1 here into root x has got power half. So it is a to the power of m into a to the power of n is a to the power of m plus n 1 and a half. 1 plus half is 1 and a half that is 3 by 2. So this becomes x to the power of 3 by 2 into dx. is ready you can just separate it x to the power of half dx minus integral x to the power of 3 by 2 dx and straight away use the power of integration this is x to the power of half plus 1 by half plus 1 minus x to the power of 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by 3 by 2 plus 1 plus the constant of integration c so i is equal to half plus 1 is 1 and half that is 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 minus x to the power of 5 by 2 over 5 by 2 plus c is the answer of the integration. Okay. So you observe that if you have two expressions with some square roots or whatever it is, it is better to multiply them and separate and then integrate. So I am just clearing off this problem number 14 so that I have some more space to work out the remaining two problems. Okay. Fifteenth one. As usual, you begin by calling the problem as i. Let i be equal to integral root x into 3x squared plus 2x plus 3 into dx. As usual, now you have to multiply these three terms by root x, this integral 3x square root x plus 2x root x plus 3 root x into dx. Or i equals x square into root x. Again, we will now simplify the powers. x square into x to the power of half. Root x is x to the power of half. So it is x to the power of 2 plus half that is 2 and a half that is x to the power of 5 by 2. 2 plus half 2 and a half that is 5 by 2. So 3 into x to the power of 5 by 2 dx plus integral 2 into. Now how much is this? x into root x as we had in the previous problem x to the power of 1 into x to the power of half that is x to the power of 1 and a half that is 3 by 2. So x to the power of 3 by 2 dx plus integral 3 into x to the power of half dx because root x is straight away x to the power of half. Now you integrate. 3 is constant. Keep it outside the integral sign. And now you integrate x to the power of 5 by 2. x to the power of 5 by 2 plus 1 divided by 5 by 2 plus 1 plus 2 times of this is x to the power of 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by 3 by 2 plus 1 <coughs> using the power rule of integration plus 3 into x to the power of half plus 1 divided by half plus 1 plus the constant of integration c. So i equals 3 times of x to the power of 7 by 2 over 7 by 2 because 5, plus, 5 by 2 plus 1 is 7 by 2 plus 2 times of x to the power of 5 by 2 by 5 by 2 3 by 2 plus 1 is 5 by 2 plus 3 into x to the power of 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 plus c. If you want you can simplify this as 
taking 2 to the numerator, 2 into 3 by 7, that is 6 by 7, x to the power of 7 by 2, you can write that in that way also. Okay? Okay, now let me go to this last problem. Uh, I think I can do it here. No, let me just clear it off. Well, as usual, call the problem as i. Let i be equal to integral 2x minus 3 cos x plus e to the power of x into dx. Okay. So, there is nothing to multiply. There is no term here. Just only dx. So, you just have to separate. That's all. And by separating, keep the constant outside. 2 times of integral x dx minus 3 times of integral cos x dx plus integral e power x dx a very simple problem very simple problem so i equals 2 times into x square by 2 you know why it is x square by 2 because x has got power 1 and using power rule x to the power of 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 that is x square by 2 minus 3 into <coughs> sorry integration of cos x is sin x plus integration of e to the power of x is e to the power of x itself. The last step we can write can as it is 2 and 2 and write it as x squared minus 3 sin x plus e power x plus c. That's the answer. Okay.